Um, okay. So in uh, in today's world, we have uh, we have um, C plus plus twenty and C plus plus twenty. One of its features is boasting modules. Um, unfortunately for us, the majority of the world does not use C plus plus twenty. And it will be some time before we can use C plus plus twenty, which means that the majority of code is going to be unable to use modules. Um, this is also problematic because even once code moves to C plus plus twenty, that does not necessarily mean that we will be automatically using modules. For modules in C plus plus twenty, we would need to do something like import uh, STD. And that would get us the stuff. But up until C++ 20, we've had to dutifully write hash include utility, hash include um, uh, 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 vector, and so on. And so that means that unless implementations uh, will provide us with what are called uh, uh, header units, which are a map, uh, it was just sort of like a bridge from headers to, uh, to modules, uh, then we don't uh, we don't get this this feature um, uh, just by flipping a switch. Now the standard library will definitely provide these header units, uh, and uh, libc++ already does this uh, for Clang. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, if libs did C++, the GNU implementation does it for GCC and MSVC's uh, SDL does a similar thing for, for MSVC. But this doesn't necessarily propagate to uh, third-party libraries, and so we we still have a bit of a problem. And it'd be nice if we could get some of the functionality of modules today. So um, one thing that we can do is, if we're on Clang, we can actually already start to take advantage of this this idea of header units, which starts to treat headers like they are modules today. And the way in which we uh, we do this is by enabling the uh, the F modules flag, and um, and that will give us uh, module uh, module like functionality. For example, this is a test case, as a test suite that checks the casts in uh, in utility for forward move uh, as const and a couple of the others. Now, something that is uh, that is not in uh, in uh, in utility is uh, uh, fputs that's in c std io. So if I were to do uh, std um, uh, puts and then uh, say hello uh, meeting c plus plus, and then I were to run uh, what is the name of this test? It is just casts. Okay, so if I were to run ninja casts and it builds. However, if I were to be using modules, then it would have said, no, um, no, you can't be, oh, right. Okay, I understand what's going on. It's because this one is a special header. So I need to pick something else, such as perhaps an iterator. Um, why don't we, uh, why don't we pick something, uh, Let's just double check what's in test. And so we can see that there is a cstdio. And so this is just a traditional header that will um, that will uh, be like a copy paste. And so this is not necessarily going to be a, uh, a beneficial thing for us because we're still getting the preprocessor working when a header is treated as a textual unit. But let's, uh, let's now pick something that isn't mentioned in this list of things. Um, from this list, we can see that a bunch of them are C headers followed by type traits and concepts. So as long as we don't pick, some, uh, pick one of those, then we should be good. So let's now go back down here and we will say uh, auto uh, I equals uh, std input greater tag. That is a good one. And so if we look over here, we see that uh, we get the traditional error of uh, no member named uh, input iterator tag in namespace std fix available, and that fix would be to include iterator. 
However, um, that's the pre-process. That, that's that's what's happening in uh, without this without without the modules enabled because Clang D doesn't uh, work well with modules. So I have turned off that feature. However, if we were to compile it now, uh, I need to ninja. Oh, I haven't saved. That's the problem. Uh, if I now do this, we will see that there is no uh, there is no um, remember name this and. Uh, we're still uh, not getting what we want. So what we can do is we can look at the uh, at this file inside the standard library called a module map. And the module map is basically a way of saying this uh, this thing is uh, is going to take this file and map it to a particular con uh, to a particular module. And this this is how we can say build up a set of header units. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that uh, that the that the uh, sorry pardon me we want to make sure that the uh, that the uh, the module has all the things that it uh, that it needs in order to build this thing out and treat it as if it was a, if, as if it were a module and. I do not see uh, the, the thing in here that is necessary, so we can change this again uh, to incrementable and then uh, we'll say auto x equals zero uh, 2 and uh, we will also just do this. And again, we can see that there's no uh, no incrementable in namespace std, and we can build this again. And uh, okay, I've named it x, which is the problem here. Y, and we'll try that again. And it gives us the same error. Um, so I'm going to have to end this here. Um, but the, uh, the, the the main idea is that with uh, with Clang modules, uh, header modules, we can uh, we can uh, compartmentalize things. And uh, thank you for your time. Thank you, Christopher.